My name is Debbie Reynolds. They call me the Data Diva. Today I want to talk about data privacy and data localization. Data localization is the act of keeping data in a particular jurisdiction to comply with regulations or even data privacy laws. Uh, recently, something really interesting happened in India. Uh, American Express and uh, Diners Club uh, were stopped from creating new customer accounts in India starting May 1st uh, because uh, India or the, the Royal Bank of India felt that uh, the company was not adhering fully to a banking regulation related to data localization. So India has long, for many decades, had strong laws related to banking in terms of how data or information can be taken out of the country, uh, but over the years, they've made those regulations much stronger. So in 2018, uh, the central bank said that they wanted to make sure that, that companies that did financial transactions with customers in India, make sure that all parts of a data transaction related to finance happen inside India. So meaning that if there were servers where data was traveling to, those things had to be in India if from the end-to-end -end, uh, processing of data. Part of this is, you know, again, like I said, the Indi India has been pretty strict, I think, uh, in terms of having banking data uh, go, uh, not go out of the country, but also over the years, there's been, you know, so many more cyber attacks and also regulations around the world about uh, data privacy and data security. So uh, India does not yet have a national uh, data privacy law, even though they have one that is in the works and people have been waiting for a couple of years to see whether it's going to pass into law. But uh, these banking regulations and kind of the idea that companies need to do transactions or have the technology within a country, within the jurisdiction to be able to do business, is an idea that I think a lot of businesses need to take note of because uh, I feel like this is going to be a trend uh, that may uh, travel around the world. We're already seeing in the EU, uh, in terms of the EU and the US, where the EU uh, in recently invalidated the, the data privacy shield between the EU and the US. And part of that is because the US was not deemed to have uh, adequate uh, protection for data that, that went over uh, to the US or is traveling there. So uh, even though uh, you know, countries like Germany have interpreted that to mean that data should not leave Germany and some other uh, um, member states in the US, U, I'm sorry, EU interpret it a little bit differently, I think the idea or the notion of data localization is not going away. And we're gonna see, especially because of all the other Com companies that do business in India, they were able to comply whether they liked it or not with this. And so the fact that they were able to comply with this, I think, uh, you know, that will be very informative to other countries or regions that want to take this step. Uh, obviously, um, you know, uh, having data be local uh, may not necessarily uh, make the data more secure from a cybersecurity perspective. But again, different countries have different ideas about how data should be handled, especially in India where they, they are kind of ahead of many countries in terms of digital identity uh, of individuals and, and using biometrics for identity systems related to finance. That's it, thank you.